Ah, it's got a 289. Perfect. I'll get this baby running. This is Jay Leno. And if you don't know who he is, you probably are living under a rock. And this is me, self-taught mechanic trying to make it on YouTube. Now there's two things that we have in common. We love cars, and we each have one of the baddest Broncos in the world. When that front end goes up, you feel like you're in a, a powerboat. This truck has kick car butts. Okay, mine's isn't done yet. But when you're trying to build a better version of Jay Leno's Bronco truck that was built by Ford themselves, well, it's gonna take a little longer and lots of money. This vehicle here, what's the price point on this? So our base price point starts at $269,000. Yep, that's right. To get a basic package WrestleMod Bronco, it costs $269,000. Now, if you add in all the stuff that we're trying to do to it, you're probably looking at around 300K. But because we're gonna do it ourselves, we're gonna get the same result but for a quarter of the price. So in the last video, you guys see, we put the supercharger on. <laughs> Let's freak, look at the view of that. But we're not done there. The supercharger mod is halfway there. Gotta be at the garage. Yeah, it's gotta be a GT500 motor. They're in the house of their own, so we're gonna turn this into a GT5 motor. There's a process that you have to do, and James pretty much has a tutorial for it that he's gonna teach me, because it's so easy that if I could do it, you could do it. So this is the kit that you need to turn your Coyote engine into a GT500 Raptor R supercharged engine. I'm really excited, guys, because I'm new to the Ford game. And the good thing is I've been blessed with James, who is like literally, he lives and breathes for it. The thing that we need to know is for those of you that understand that Coyotes were never made for use with hydraulic power steering, except yep. for one country. Shout out to all the Aussies out there watching. Three idlers. We have a one-time use pulley boss cutter. Yeah. We have a pulley boss adapter. Uh-huh. Eight mil 125 tap, bottoming yep. type. Okay. A <laughs> DIY gang <laughs> promoter. <laughs> and this is the belt that does the supercharger, the harmonic balancer, the air conditioning compressor, and the power steering. You drill to a depth of one inch. So the one tape inch. is there to let you So you put one inch tape. And, and just so I know, we're doing this one, right? Yep, yeah, that is correct. Okay. All right. It's pretty dope, man. It is dope? Yeah. No, 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 let me, let me, let's, let's do this right, man. You got a 1764? Oh, yeah, it's hammered. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I drilled stainless steel with the glass. All right. Bro got some. I don't know if I got it all he of got, them. Oh. Do it. Is there one in there? 1764. Okay. And they're colorful. Thank like, you. That's cool. That's yeah, be, be, be careful. Yeah, I'm gonna back drill it first and then, yeah. Now, legally, I have to say it. I'm a trained idiot, so do not drill into your Coyote engine. And if you do, I am not responsible. All right, next step is... Create a boss. Create a boss. Yeah. There you go. I had a good joke for that, I think, but I don't. I feel like it's gonna sound corny. <laughs> they lay this flush and... Let it rip, tater chip. Now you would think this step would have been easy, but after 10 minutes of drilling, it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> this is a cutting Come on, man. Do you want to give it away? Yeah, maybe I'm using it wrong. No, you're not. Use your error? I'm just wondering what the, what the story is. Oh, sorry, it ain't cutting. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> hmm. We'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> hey, listen, bro, because I can. Oh, I'm about to put you all over. Look at you. There you go. Yep. Nope. You asked for it. There you go. What's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm going to have to see, man. I'm, I'm running into some issues with this Coyote engine I'm building. And what is the most we can do or the least we can do? 650. <laughs> Look like we got winner. <laughs> I, I can't see it this close. What is it? You can't see it? Oh, man. 653, bro. This guy here. Round two. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. That's it's actually, <laughs> yeah. it's actually cutting. Look at that. Guys, look at look at this right here. Look at that. Look at that. It's it fits perfectly. Like everything, it just it just flows. Alrighty, guys. Well then, there you go. We got our kit. Now the next thing on the docket. A new buddy of mine that I met, Phil was explaining to me on how we can use 2004 Coyote motor mounts and it should put it in the perfect spot. So the custom motor mounts that I sent about $200 on, we're not even gonna need. Yeah, I was wrong. But 
I guess I'll just let you guys watch the two, three days worth of work that I went through just to be able to figure this out. Simple, puts it exactly where we need it and should work. Um, keyword should, let's get these things on. You see in a build like this, engine placement is one of the most critical and time consuming jobs. If it's too high, then your engine will be way offset from your differentials and you don't find that out until after your build is done and you're driving it down the road and it starts vibrating really hard. And if you put it too low, you cause clearance issues with your front drive accessory system. You know, your alternator, AC compressor, power steering, etc. So you have to try to find the perfect balance with engine placement. That's if you're going with what's already available. But if you want to make it better, well then you're going to have to start customizing some stuff, which we'll talk about later on in the video. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to work on a Bronco? <laughs> uh, the past two days, my butt has been getting kicked by these motor mounts. You know that. They just kind of know that. So the way it works is the diagonal fit, right? And yep. so when you try to get the motor to sit in, it wants to go as low as possible. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so the way the old design is, it sits, it's so, the mounts are so close to the motor that it allows it to go as low as possible and makes the motor sit lower, right? But that's not gonna help us because, so right here, we actually have space, like very, very, look at, look at that. You see how little that, like a little bit of space that is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we have probably like a quarter of an inch of space, but it's, I guess, all that we're gonna need to make it work. And you guys still see here, it's been two days, and I'm thinking that I can go with those 2004 Coyote motor mods. Not realizing that it's just not gonna work. Guess what the motor mods are out of? uh mustang 2004 mustang <laughs> i'm here buying i spent a hundred and some like almost 200 dollars on those on motor, motor mounts. mounts if only i could go back and tell myself that those mustang motor mounts were not gonna work but thinking everything was fitting perfectly i just kept on working and was gonna have to learn the hard way the next thing that we're gonna have to deal with is the cross member and if we're before we do the cross member you, you already get, know you gotta get that transfer case exactly so much fun. <laughs> so let's go do the change of case. <laughs> now most of you guys probably know what a transfer case is. And for those that don't, well, it's simple. You have two wheel drive, four wheel drive high, and a four wheel drive low. Most Broncos came with a four wheel drive system. Now for my setup, I already had a built transfer case, but unfortunately when I moved to Florida, I lost it. So we had to go on Marketplace and try to find one just so we could figure out how we were gonna build the cross member. Damn, that thing stinks. Oh, that thing stinks. Ear oil oh. never smelled good. You ever smoke ear oil before? <laughs> Not that bad. This is that 1970s oh, is gear oil. What you talking about? This is what you call fermented. That's fer <laughs> for fermenting for freaking 60, to, 70 years. Yeah, no, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, don't look too bad, actually. Oh, this man it actually looks pretty mint. It looks brand spanking new. Look uh, yeah. Damn. Needle bearings are just a little dirty, but other than that. Dude, that looks freaking mint. Now, if you guys see that nice silver thing at the back of the transmission, that was our adapter for our old transfer case. And for some reason, we thought that adapter worked with our transfer case. And after about 30 minutes of trying to get it to fit up, a thought came to me of just pulling the gasket off and putting it to it to see if it even fit. Yeah, that's not even gonna work. I'm glad something told me to check. You ain't leaving nowhere yet. What? You're not leaving me alone. Oh, six o'clock. Ah. See this guy? See what I gotta go through? Whatever. By myself. You got another <laughs> bag of gummies? I need a bag of gummies, man. I did those two I motor mods by myself. I just those kidding. motor mods I did myself and they were not easy. Good afternoon, sir. So I think, I, I, oh, yeah, this is definitely not more. He's late to work, guys. So you, you won't believe what I think we might be able to do. What is that? So after doing some research, AKA calling Ryan and James. <laughs> yeah, that's, a that's a really good research. I think I found a solution that's gonna make it not only as good as Jay Leno's, but probably even better. Really? Mm, okay. But we gotta load up some tools and we gotta hurry up and then I guess I'll tell you on the way. Cause okay. yeah. Right. So here's the deal, brother. There's two options actually we have. And if well, we, so we, if we want, we well, there's two options. Either we, we could do electronic with the button, which I obviously, I'm gonna go buy the electrical one now because, or we're gonna go look at the Bonier and see if they even have it. Yeah. Cause there's only one truck at the Bonier that's a 2010, that's four by four, that has electronic. And we're gonna see if they got it there. But if they do got it, we could go electrical. But if you guys think that we could with the manual one, 
to still have at least the the manual cable we could do that and just have to fab yeah. up the cable to work yeah it's not gonna be a problem it's just yeah. it's pretty much at preference at that point yeah. you gotta think if you had 200 extra thousand dollars or 300 <laughs> extra do you want to be shifting with a cable or do you want to push a button push a button, yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> that would be nice yeah. Fly. yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> Got everything we need. Seriously, they got everything. Oh, hello. Yeah, all the Dodges, they put all the Dodge stuff back there. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, man. So that's there. We well, got it's here. Yeah, it's here. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is it's here. The bad news is it's e sockets. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. That literally brought down. What is it? I have no idea what's holding it. Crazy. See, that's when heat shields used to hold stuff together. Whew. Guys, imagine Rome crouch down. Ooh. Actually, don't imagine Rome crouch down. Don't, 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 don't imagine that. <laughs> it's, it's not a pretty sight. Yeah, it's nothing imaginable. <laughs> Alice is probably like, you don't want to imagine. Oh my God. So you might have to call 911 after this one. All right, let me see. Yep, there's two right up here. So now. You can grab the e sockets. Actually, no, I use these ones. You sure? I forgot I had. Yeah, we'll just tell them funny story. Come on. I forgot I owned e sockets in my box, <laughs> and so I took them all out with an eleven. It took the blind man to read it. <laughs> that is true. He didn't recognize the numbers. Either, I didn't. So. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Those are these, are, oh, these are, are e sockets. We got one hour. Watch out! Watch out! Watch. One hour left, baby. We got it out. One hour, man. Look how brand new that looks. We out of here. No hours. No hours, baby. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. It's Wawa. It's Wawa. It's Wawa time. It's Wawa. Ah, we going. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Come. We out here. Now, now slow down. <laughs> Guys, it's thirty-one spline. We counted it. It looks freaking good. Now, fingers crossed, we get it for a smoking deal, and then that way we can celebrate with some Wawa's and then offer it up to the Bronco, and it hopefully goes right in. Now, here we are, guys, four days later. After trying to use what's already available, I wasn't happy with how it was looking. And after talking to a custom shop that does this, I think I might just go the custom route. We're kind of at the end of the tunnel. Now, you guys remember I mentioned that I was gonna use the 2004 Mustang Motor Mods, but unfortunately, we can't. And the reason why is because it just made the engine just sit so high. See how nice this is sitting right now? It was so high before and then to try to get it to the right angle so that everything could sit nicely and go to the back, it was damn near like a wood. It was just too steep for my liking. So I have a question for some of you guys that are watching that have some experience with this. I can either leave it the way it goes or I can go with these nice custom motor mounts fab everything up, put it exactly where I want it. And that way I know it will look a hell of a lot better, but I'm guessing it'll also make it drive better. Yeah, we're learning as we're going here, guys. So any help, I would appreciate it. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.